I've been in Texas for three weeks and I have gone nowhere. It's freaking hot here. Give me a break. Good morning. Very annoyed. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I'll let you take a little nap real quick. Flint was a little bit different. The weather there was up and down, yes, but it was good enough to be out all day. Every weekend I went somewhere, so I'm slacking right now. I gotta be out there in them streets. I think it's time for us to go exploring. It is 4.30 in the morning. Hi, um, can I have a number six, a small vanilla iced coffee? Thank you. I've only had three hours of sleep, y'all. I'm gonna need this coffee. expect this city to look this gorgeous i'm glad i came while it's still dark out because the lights are shining we made it we are at a park in the middle of the city literally that side right there it's the highway and this is the park right here you can see all the buildings of the city Pretty freaking awesome. The reason why me and Gizmo decided to come this early at six in the morning is because it's cooler. It's cooler in the early mornings and late evenings. Because here in Texas, it's like 100 degrees, okay? Right now, it's probably 70, 70 degrees. That's why I'm still wearing my tank. But it is so freaking nice. I know later on in the day, there's gonna be more people here in the park. So we're probably gonna be the only ones Maybe some joggers here and there, but oh my gosh, this is like perfect. I feel good, y'all. I feel freaking good. I don't know if it's the weather that's nice and cool, finally, or the fact that I'm in a fucking park in the middle of the city on top of the fucking highway. I, who does that shit? Texas does. <laughs> The lights out here while it's dark is very romantic, very dimming. I like it, but I want to see how it looks like when the sun is out. It also looks like you can play ping pong. They have the tables set for anyone who wants to play. They have this in the middle of the park too. It comes along with a dog with Shih Tzu, in case you want to play with him as well. They have lots of seating on the sides there um, in case you stop at a restaurant because we are in downtown, so grab some food. Even bring your own food, do a little picnic out here. Um, you can sit on the sit on the chairs and the tables if you choose to. But you can also bring your own lawn chairs for the center lawn right here. So there's plenty of grass, plenty of space for anyone to sit down. And just enjoy the freaking weather, y'all. Thank God they provide hand sanitizer. Ooh, ooh, and it works. Thank you, appreciate you. They also have a little, a little mini golf here. In case y'all want to bring a little golf balls and shit. They even have doggy bags, okay? And they're filled. It's not like it's a little doggy bag station and it's empty. It's some shit that I'm used to in Illinois. No, it's actually filled. Speaking about dog poop. Oh, you dropped some, huh? Alright. And this center part right here, I don't know what the fuck it is. So I ain't gonna lie to you guys. Y'all figure it out yourselves. This here looks like a stage. Got plenty of space. The light is out guys, the light is out, but the sun has not come out yet, so that's a good thing, it's not hot. It is drizzling a little bit. Oh, this is locked right now. Oh, this is locked right now, but that's a kid's park right there for all the Bay Bay kids. I knew it was going to rain this morning. We're actually expecting thunderstorms. <laughs> I was like, fuck it, you know? Why not still give it a shot? I'm not gonna let this rain stop me or gizmo. We gonna keep on going, okay? They got a little tree house and shit. And I don't know what the fuck that is. I wonder how much they pay in rent. It's 
gotta be in the thousands. We took this opportunity while it stopped raining and walked 20 minutes to this plaza just to look at this. Let's go take a closer look. This is so much better in person, I promise you. the parking garage if you saw my last vlog then you already know that I have a crack on my windshield the windshields on Jeeps are shitty it's a known fact okay so this crack was bound to happen after driving hours on the highway and when I was talking about it on my last vlog you probably did not notice the crack it was hard to see because of the glare but you can see it on here right now it starts from up here all the way down there it's a big crack guys. I don't exaggerate for nothing, okay? <laughs> and you're damn right I still have it there. I haven't gotten it fixed. Listen, I got shit to do, okay? I'll get it done eventually, but right now, it's not in my way, okay? You see that? It's right there. I am perfectly fine driving with that crack on the windshield. I think I'm going to wait uh, to get it fixed on my way to the next assignment because if I'm going to get it fixed and I have to go back onto the highway again and then another crack happens, it was a waste of money, you feel me? So I'm going to just wait. Hopefully it doesn't get any bigger than that, we'll see. And uh, I'm ready to go back to the crib -o. Gizmo, you ready? Yeah, he's ready. He's muddy. I'm muddy. Oh my gosh. We got to go. It's the following day and I forgot to mention a couple things. But before I do that, this is my first time eating from Whataburger. Whataburger, Whataburger, however you want to say it. My first time. Honestly, y'all can take my opinion if you want to, but I'm not a picky eater. I'm pretty, I'm pretty much satisfied with anything you give me. Now, if I say something's bad, that means it's nasty, okay? I'm going to try the fries first. Okay. Okay. The fries are really good. It's just too salty for me. I don't know if it's just this location that added a little too much salt or that's just how they make their fries. So let's move on to this burger. Damn, I don't know, was this huge? First off, I love the colors of Whatab Whataburger. They were wearing orange shirts, I don't know, but the yellow wrapper, it stands out. I decided to go with the jalapeno cheeseburger and I added bacon to it, cause you know, gotta add a little bit of more meat up in there. It's got cheese, jalapeno, lettuce, pickles, bacon. I don't know if it has any type of sauce, special sauce or not, it's got onions as well. It's already dripping, so it's dripping something. What, the bun? I can't tell what it is. It's like a squared slash circle. I don't know, but let's go ahead and try it out. All right, let's go for a second bite. I'm not too sure yet. Mmm. Okay, it's good. We don't have Whataburger in Illinois. This is why it's my first time trying it. I like it, I like it. It doesn't really stand out though. Like this, I don't think there's nothing special about it, but it's good. I'll be, uh, once I'm done, I'll be satisfied. So the things I forgot to mention earlier in the video, that park that I went to, the son of a billionaire, the Warren family, he donated $10 million to build that park in the, in the middle of the damn city. And let me tell you, that money donated was well worth it. And they're still adding stuff to it. They're gonna add, there's already a dog park there. I didn't get to show y'all, but they're gonna expand that dog park, which I'm happy about because let me tell you, when I sat down when the, when the rain was pouring, there was a lot of people walking their dogs. So that would be a good investment or donation, whatever you rich people do. That's it for today's video. Here, let me not be rude. Let me finish my food, it's in my mouth. Give me a second. By the way, the pop that goes with the meal, it's fucking huge. All right, you guys, 
that's it for today's video make sure you like comment share and subscribe and please hit that bell so you can get notified every time i upload see y'all in the next vlog peace